Play the alternate path through the story. Unlock the theatrical cut when theatrical cut is completed. So that's cool. I guess you get other people's perspectives and stuff. <clears throat> Here we go. Man of Midan. Let me know if I need to adjust the audio. It's better to do it early rather than later. Why does this feel like the start of a Batman game? I feel like I'm gonna see Batman hiding in the dark at the top. I believe there's a haunted ship involved in this game. I guess this is it. They're probably showing us its origin story. Alrighty, Buster. We better mosey on back to the ship. <coughs> Whoa. Stop the presses. What? Looks like old Charlie Charming's got a little business to attend to. Can you fight? Can fight? Hey, give me a quarter. Why? And if I was her, I would not future. like his style when he comes walking. Let's have it. What's in store for me, Pop? Joe. Post World War II. Have you got a question to ask the tiles? Uh, okay. Tell me about my son. What? Uh, I guess I just want to know about my son. Will he, uh... Is he gonna grow up alright? Things gonna work out for him? Oh, I get to choose? Dragon tile or bamboo tile? My son is a... My, my son's a warrior. Dragon tile. Look at the tile. Tell me what you see. It, I see a fish. It looks like a fish? Good. Good talk. Your fortune may come from any direction. Like a mysterious wind. But when a wind like this may blow, death and doom are sure to follow. Death? Wait, what? What does that mean? Hey, what does that mean? What the hell, man? <laughs> Wait, hey. what is that acting? Cool, I could, I could look at this. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! What does that mean? What does that mean? What the hell, man? Like, you just... <laughs> what, what the hell? Um, here you're for... Okay, that's current. Cool. Reckless. Yeah, I could tell. Selfish. But let me get a go at it. Oh yeah? Think you got the stuff? Can you do better than your friend? Fight? Sure. Let me another quarter. I'm gonna start a tab. I'll give it a whirl. Use to aim, press R2 to punch. Okay. Alright. This is easy, dude. 
Surprised how much time they give me. I thought you said you could fight. Like I'm the karate master now, wouldn't you know it? Why am I wasting my time, time on this idiot? Hey, Chuck, we better get back to the ship. We don't want to get stranded. Good. Come on, man, just let me ask another question. We really need to get back. See how stop talking, we can read. I feel like there's people who might be playing with a lower quality, perhaps if their internet can't handle the 1080, and then they can't see this tiny subtitle. Do you not need me to to read it? means I don't have to read. Yeah, I thought it'd be nice, especially people on mobile. I don't mind the reading, I'm at work and can't pay full attention. What do you work with, dude? Man cheesy. Someone check out his answer. Everyone say the answer so that I can see it. Ominous. Janitor, stripper. I meant once he's answered. Hey, man. hey, where's my... Where's my 50 cents? 50 cents? What 50 cents? Come on, man. Hey, buzz off, buddy. Nobody pushes me around. What? Insurance sales, very interesting, dude. To the medical board. Throw the other in the bridge and keep him there. Fifty cents? I mean, this is back in World War II, isn't it? Fifty cents back then. Oof. I imagine that's like four bucks or something, right? Six dollars? Ah, I was close. Can you guys hear me all right over the game audio? I've got it cranked up quite a lot in my headphones. I'll try out it's for you. All right, very good. The fuck are they doing to him? Sick Bay, June 22nd, 1.36 a.m. Joe. Oh, we get to walk! Oh, it's time. Ooh, very until dawn. Controls. Yo, Pop! Come back soon. It says two, doesn't it? Yeah. I assumed it'd be locked. I'd hate to leave before exploring. What the hell? What the hell?
immediately takes the key. Really? You can't like... Oh, he has legs. Okay. Is there a way I can run or something? I feel very slow. Anything else we can do here right now? Secrets. Bearings. L1, thanks. Does that one make him faster? Slow, fast. Slow, fast. I can't tell if there's a difference or if he's just speeding up. Fast, slow. Yeah, there's a difference. Howdy, Charlie. How's your time off? Just get me out of here already. What the hell is going on out there? I heard aircraft and gunfire. Me too. And there was a... Uh... A corpse. What? In the sick bay. Something's wrong. Let's get out of here. Secrets! In that Private Charles Anderson, on leave from duty, did display intoxication in a manner not becoming of a member of the U.S. Army, Private Anderson was engaging with another soldier in a drunken argument. It is the opinion of the arresting officer that this would lead to a public brawl, and steps were taken to ensure that both men were returned to their ships. Brig, ten days approved. Ten days? Rig week, 20... The farm! I have to hold R2 to read it? Hold on. Yeah, it feels a little Resident Evil-esque. Arthur Miller. Petty theft, one day brig. Small items belong to senior officer found in Miller's locker. Items recovered and returned to... Owner, excuse me. David Davis. David Davis? Just passed, blah blah blah. Found off limits, but no reason to be there. Friday, Lewis Brand. Public intoxication, one day? It's a 10 on the other. Found drunk and acting inappropriately for US Army personnel while on shore leave. Robert Reed, public intoxication, one day break. Found drunk and acting inappropriately. Okay. Cool. Is there no way for me to open this, uh, this? Am I really going back here? You know when it feels like there's a booger at the edge of your nose? Did I turn the page? I'd like to make sure I don't miss anything here in the beginning. Oh, there we go. Yeah, 10 days. Cool. Did you look at the blood? Oh yeah, blood! Nice spot, Alex. Hold up. My friend is... There's something he's not telling me. What's my friend's name? Who's Joe and who's, uh... So this is Joe. Ooh, Charlie, what aren't you telling me? Boom! I don't get this, press X in time of the heartbeat. Ah, okay. Doom, doom.
I got that heartbeat thing when I played the demo of this. And there was no tutorials, I just didn't know what to do. God, dude. <sighs> Hold up now, George. Baby. Charlie. Oh. Alright, well, we'll try this one. Hey, Charlie, help! Ah, uh, can I not go back? <sighs> oh, yeah, Vlad! Yeah, you said it. Fubar and that son. Don't close the door, I need to go back. Don't close the door. Let's go back. Fun! Worst... Worst... My worst thing about... About uh, games, right? Let's rant. It's when... It's when you don't know whether you're supposed to go left or right. And like, there's a door and you know, and you think like, okay, but maybe this is locked. And then instead of having the choice to go through and leave your area, it just happens, and you can't go back and check the other area. I hate that about games. It's such an annoying little, little, like, design. Ah, It was obvious? Nah, to me it wasn't. It looked more like we're supposed to go right, because that's where the kid went, and I thought I'd go check on the left. Like, it could be either way. Alright, fuck you guys with the it was obvious. Don't worry, there wasn't anything special, just locked doors. I, sh I sure hope so. I hope so. To me it wasn't obvious because Charlie started going right. So to me it seemed like right was the way to go. I felt like I was going away from the path by going left. Fuck, fuck this body, asshole. I leave? Okay. God damn, another stiff? Who's the lucky winner? God, these guys are assholes. <laughs> Who's oh, the lucky winner? Damn it, Buckley. Last time I saw him in the mess hall, he was fit as a fiddle. Poor fucker. Yikes, look at his hands. I like this kind of storytelling, where you get to control the character, and it kind of just tells something as you're moving along. Ooh, look at this camera as well. I like this. This I'm a fan of. Yo. Quite good graphics, actually. On some scenes, and then some not so much. Are we about to run from something? Let's check here. You see, now Charlie's going off that way, so I'm gonna check this way. And I'm not gonna open this door. I'm gonna make sure... No, uh, you see? So, uh... Is it just me? Or are you getting a real strange feeling right now? Do I look like a guy who likes to talk about his feelings? Alright, I think we're going this way. Let me go check the other way. Why not? Because last time, he called for Charlie and they left. And we couldn't explore the other way. What do you mean I'm the worst, Alex? Last time I checked it and we went through and couldn't check the other way. Oh my god, these people. Fucking Alex. There we go, we checked the door. I hope we don't have a chase going with this kind of speed. Never get married. Ah! Hey, Chuck. <sighs> you see that kid over there? Uh, no. You feeling all right? <laughs> anyway, never get married, guys. 
That's what I was trying to say. Oh, yikes, I'm gonna be ready. Ready for the quick time event. Here we go, three. Joker. What? All right. Happened to Charlie. Mayday! Mayday! Is anyone there? Hello! Can anyone out there hear me? Oh, come on! Come on, damn it! What the hell is that? Yeah, what's up? Do you remember from that from the demo? Oh, the skeleton, yeah, that's that that guy. Yeah. Won't you spare me over till another year? The hell is this? Are we playing the same game? What's that French detective called? Inspector Crusoe or whatever? On the train? This feels like a game. This is Inspector Crusoe. Uh, is that his name? Well, what is this that I can't see? Beck. Kill Pora, yeah, maybe. maybe that's it.
Oh, that was the one on the train. Yeah, then it's the one I meant. It's kind of weird. Kind of weird to just introduce a new character with an intro with some epic music like this. Oh, here we go. Hello. And welcome. This is the same guy. And I want Pit to storm my back. And until dawn, this guy was Swedish. He was a Swedish actor. I am the curator. The curator of stories. Stories of love and hate. Of greed and beauty. Life and death. Stories such as this one. I'm here to record the story you choose to tell. You see, this tale is only part written. And the choices you make will complete it. Mm. And determine whether the lives of those with whom you are interfering continue to flourish or whether they are snuffed out. Mm. You see, we each make decisions according to our own moral compass. And we have to live with those decisions or die by them. But you shouldn't fear death. It is, after all, inevitable. inevitable. It is the tax one pays for having lived and it comes, eventually, to everybody. Still, none of us want for it to come too soon, do we? As in life, the actions you take matter. The choices you make will affect others. I'll be keeping a close eye on your progress. It's not my place to interfere, but I might be persuaded to offer the occasional hint. Here's one for free. There are pictures in this world that can show you some possible future. Right. Oh, that was so much fun. You can find them and study them. They may just oh, yeah. to make better decisions. Yeah, no, I like that. Or should I say decisions that result Totems. in outcomes you We did really well with those in until and until dawn. That's all for We the studied them like crazy. Again, soon enough, we'll have the opportunity to account for all the actions that you've taken. Or whatever mess you've made. Okay. Ho! Can I pause or does it skip the intro? Kick the wolf. Oh. Witty Brad, Alex's brother, innocent. You can pause. Whew. Oh, I'm just gonna read some of the subs. It's hard with these games. I try to do subs in intervals, but if I wait too long, it ends up being like. <laughs> oh, so many. Subs coming in, you know. No, but I have to. I have to, you know, keep them red. Was his name not Witty Brad? His name was Witty Brad, right? I think Witty was separate to Brad. I thought his nickname was Witty Brad. <laughs> oh, so he's Witty. Okay, yeah, he's Witty, and his name's Brad. I thought his name. I thought his. I thought, I thought he had a nickname, you know? I thought he, I thought I thought they'll be calling him Witty Brad, you know? <laughs> oh yeah, that's Witty Brad. He's innocent. No. <laughs> that's funny, dude. That's funny. Can we call him Witty Brad? That's that's funny. Uh, what does witty mean? It means like uh, funny, quick, quick, um, 
you know, you're you're a jokester. You're quite witty. You know, you come in with clever jokes. Ah, these witty Brad, dude. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh anyway <clears throat> what tour thanks for subbing dude skyler with the two months i'm dyslexic half a year i wonder who's gonna die first obviously the boat dude but that was bound to happen uh teal's left up with the three months welcome back pugarinos with the 18 i 18 months is nothing i'm shooting for that five-year badge you were talking about fuck yeah pugarinos i'll see you in you know four and a half years DJ with the three bucks. Blair Witch installed. Wish me luck, boys. We'll sub at some point. Please don't hate me because I'm poor. Thanks for the three bucks. Have a good time playing Blair Witch. I'll be playing it this weekend. Looking forward to it. Gaming Toddy with the five months. I got the mug yesterday. Hurrah. Five months, seven more until a year. Love you, man. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Hope you like the mug. Gaming Toddy came in with a $50 donation a few weeks ago. Asked when the mug comes back. I have like, I had like four to spare, so I sent him one. Uh, you were in Sweden as well, so it was nice and easy. Laylification and Nags Pants. Thank you guys for subbing. Welcome. Kelly Entis for the five months. Dubbing, please, lol. Morazane with the one year. Happy one year. Snartlord with the 26 months. Greg says with the 11. I was waiting for this playthrough for so long and I'm late, lol. Tio sad. 23 minutes ago. You haven't missed much, dude. Logan, even. Thanks for subbing and welcome. Nags Pants with the one gift is up to Snoozer. Welcome, Snoozer. And thank you, Nags Pants. Separatist with the. Four months. Zolisk with a three. Let's go. I'll hope all goes well for the playthrough. Me too, man. Sir Combs with a 15 months. Did this game just become a rhythm game? Uh, yeah. Uh, it's interesting with the X's. With the heartbeat. I wonder how hard that's going to get. Skull says Skull. One year. Can't wait for the second one. Much love to you, Alex, Luna, the cats, and everyone else. By the way, what's this game? Man of Madon. Same makers as Until Dawn. You make decisions. People die. People live. We have a good time. Jackson Poe. Thanks for the 15 months. It has indeed been a while, man. Thanks. Uh, welcome back. D. Philip with the 17 months. Wade Watts with the one year. Two pack with the two pack with the seven months. I'm Grossman. How you doing? 27 months. Rhino Rage coming in with a sub. Welcome, dude. My, the legend is playing a game. Thanks for the five months later. If you don't find slash do anything, this game. Oh yeah, yeah. There's like different paths and shit for sure, dude. Thanks for the five. Vintage fart. Thanks for the two months. Interesting name. Welcome back, Louis. 48 months. Let's get some hype in the chat. Louis coming in with a 48. Four years. Here's to four more to my favorite YouTuber and streamer. You the best, man. Hell yeah. Hope you enjoy that four-year badge, dude. Blue Pupper Dog, thanks for the half year. Nick Abs with the five months. Dishelkes with the four months. Witty Brad with the three bucks. You, oh, you were really going to make fun of my name like that. Premier with the five bucks. Hey, my name is Premier, but my friend called me Witty. All right, dickheads. Thanks for the donations. Brooklyn Whopper, thanks for the 17 months. And Gang Alex, coming in hot with a sub. Welcome. Woo! Right, let's get back to it. So Brad is Alex's brother. He's witty and he's uh, innocent. Witty Brad. Motivated Alex, Brad's brother, Julia's boyfriend. Fuck, what was the last word? Motivated, it's Brad's out. brother. If we run out, we can always call for backup. So Wait, what? Wasn't Brad... Alex's brother? So Brad's Alex's brother, and whatever this guy's name is, who's who's this guy? Is wait, is this Alex? Oh, this is Alex. All right. Well, look, <clears throat> let's play. I've never been down there before. Down? The water? Diving? Well, maybe you could show me how the pros do it. Are you serious? Uh. Yeah. I mean, are you serious? You came out here without taking any lessons? Oh, he's insecure? Kind of, yeah. Is that what it said? He's motivated yet insecure. All right, well, playing in the spirit of Brad, he's witty. But none of this is witty, so he's gonna... I wanted to. I just didn't I didn't have time, you know? I had to work all summer. Oh, uh, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> Whoa, careful. That dive cam is, like, super expensive. Look, bro. Be cool. What? Julia and Conrad are, you know, how do I say it? Super fucking loaded? So? So don't sweat the little stuff, man. It's not cool. Don't make me regret letting you tag along. Wow, Alex is a dick. I'm gonna say nothing to that. All right, amigo. Calvary's almost here. Cool. Sorry I'm a little snappy. I'm just... Yeah, you better apologize. The new medical school would be stressful, you know? Total shocker. And man... The long distance thing, with Julia, it's been rough. <laughs> I say nothing again. No, I'm gonna be empathetic. I'm witty 
Oh, maybe I do too. No, no. Let's let's get a good relationship going here. Yeah, I got you. It must be tough. No worries, man. I'm innocent. Oh. <laughs> yep. Right on cue. What? Conrad doesn't think we have enough beer. Ah. I guess I keep these in an undisclosed location. Yeah. Hey. Relationship updated. Hell yeah. It's gone up with Alex. Well done, Brad. What's it gone up in? Can I click this? Brad empathized with Alex. Alex accepted Brad's reasoning. Hey. So, uh, can I get your input on something? Oh, he's yeah, got a mole well, on his penis. It's, uh, kind of a big thing I'm trying to make a decision about. About finishing med school? No, but it's just kind of a big life choice, you know? How to know what's the right thing to do. Um. Oh, he's gonna ask her to marry. I, I'm calling it. Uh. Go with your gut. Go with your gut. If it's right, you'll know. Bearing up there. Brad told Alex to follow his gut. He's gonna propose. There we go. Proposal. I called it. Um. She, oh, okay, this is gonna lead to bad things. I should have said, think about it. Julia, excited. Conrad's sister, Alex's girlfriend, reckless. Conrad, Julia's brother, relaxed, foolhardy. Oh, sorry. Connie, this is Alex. Hey, what's up, man? Conrad. <laughs> Watch it, sis. Lady killer, right here. <laughs> Good to finally meet you, Conrad. Ah, oh, why is that awkward? It's, it's a game. Me, my little bro. Hey. Bradley! I feel like I already know you. I've heard so much about you. Yeah, uh, likewise. Miss me. Hey, man. Did Julia Wanna change hair color? Every second. Huh. Uh, that's a lot of seconds, cowboy. I mean, I would have gone... Isn't she blonde? Uh, I say nothing. Oh, I get seasick? I'm gonna say... I get seasick. Ah, uh, TBH. I kind of have a thing with uh, seasickness. Brad, Bradley, Ray Bradleberry. There's only one way to get your sea legs, and it comes in a can. Hell yeah, I like Conrad. Ah, <laughs> uh, just one. That's how it starts. Fine, one. That's all. <laughs> Right on, Bradical. I like the cut of your ship. It's Jib. Let's check out our relationship. Conrad? Conrad liked Brad for having a drink with him. Don't ruin it. You ever do any diving before? <laughs> Bradical, dude. Uh. Never. Um, no, actually. Never done it before. Water virgin. Nice. Hey, we're gonna pop your chair. Yeah, Conrad. This guy's my favorite. I'm keeping him alive. Party boy Conrad. <laughs> Rad Conrad. <laughs> oh. <sighs> Where's the old crust bucket skipper anyhow? Impatient Fliss, captain of the Duke of Millen. Courageous. Here comes Fliss. I'd invite you to make yourselves at home, but, uh... So is everybody on board and ready to go? Wow. Is she a friend, or is she just, uh... The driver that we've hired? Uh, you're selling, I'm buying. What the hell? Who's this dick? She's just the guide she's hired? Well, she's not very good at her job. She's supposed to have a fun time, you know? That's it, get it all out. Uh, yeah. Fuck Fliss. She's you, uh, first to die if like I get that? the choice. Yeah. You know, maybe I should. Oh boy. There should be an extra relationship tab for me. In my relationship with the characters. What about over here? That's pretty far out of the way. 
I'm just thinking about backup targets in case we don't find anything on the dive cam. Listen, to be honest, I've never heard of this wreck you're looking for. Usually these things are crawling with divers. Yeah. This one's different. I'm just saying, if it gets too late, I know some nice places where you can just take, you know, a nice dive. Uh... I'm gonna trust her. Rav was so sure it would be here. But yeah, I mean, what are the odds we're really gonna find a needle in a haystack? I'm gonna go help Conrad and Julia with the camera. What you got? Feast your eyes on this. Brad's calculations were right on the money. Always bet on Brad. Yeah, the kid's oh. a whiz. We should thank him. Bliss, we found a plane. Yeah? Yeah, it looks like World War II. We are ready to dive. Uh, technically, we should call this in to port authorities as an unreported wreck. Well, technically. Are you sure you don't want to do this the right way? Uh, who cares? I'm going to say who cares. Let's fucking go, baby. Look, for all anyone knows, we were just diving and then found it. So who cares? Yeah, I like that. The right way. Come on, what is this, kindergarten? Hell yeah, yeah Conrad. If we just go down and take a look, who's going to know? Fine. As long as you're quick. <laughs> Don't touch anything. We're not quick with anything, Fliss. I just can't wait to be the first one down there. Can you imagine? Untouched. God, what was the uh, girl in Until Dawn called who we didn't like? We should be ready to get you guys in the water in a few. I'll set up the tanks. The boys will do the final checks. Take a look at the camera. See if you can find anything useful. Righto. Hey, maybe you should check on your bro. Emily. Fliss is the new Emily. Thanks, guys. Oh, we're playing. What's this? Hmm. I don't think there might be a way in. What's that? I swear I just saw something here. Okay. I can talk to everyone. There's a little gap in the tail. Take a look. Imagine if someone opens the stream just as I do this. Silence. Going through a, an iPad. Can I back out of this? Am I supposed to be seeing something? Alright, good. Thanks. Almost got the gear. Good to go. Where's the brother? Ah, oh, fuck. Uh... Thanks for paying. So, thanks again for springing for the good stuff. Nice to be able to do it right. Uh-huh. What? You know the size of my bank account is not in a competition with the size of your penis, right? What does he mean with I'd still do good? I like that. Let's do it. But if it was a competition, that's flirting a little, a little, you know? Well, if you adjust for inflation, gotta say, not too happy with our captain at the moment. What? Play cool for now. Yeah, I know. But let's just play cool for now. Cool? Why? There's no point in antagonizing her. 
If she tries to keep me from doing this, it's a lame flirt. Time, well, if you adjust for inflation, well, that's, oh, that's fair. wink. Just don't force her hand. All right, I'm gonna get these rebreathers set up, and then we'll go through the final steps together. Cool. Just holler at us when you're ready. Right. Where the fuck is my brother? I'm almost done with these. Cool. That's great. I'm trying to find. Is he inside? Oh, here. Let me just make. Oh, okay. Here we go. Oh my god, too many options. I go straight. You in here? I'm not sure Julia left anything on the mainland. It's only smelled as good as it cost. At least it made her happy. Oh. That's how they look, I think. I must read for anyone with an interest in the Salem Witch Trials of 1692. Ooh, nice work on the book. Looks a bit old. What's up? How you doing? Sorry, that brewski got the better of me. Brewski. Don't worry. Hey, all part of the adventure. Sorry for putting a damper on things. No worries, dude. Take more than that just to screw up the trip. Just get some rest. Come back when you're feeling better. It's locked. Oh, hey, here we go. He wakes up and nobody's around. High and dry, found during wreck. Okay, let's remember this, boys. Alex wakes up. He's under the bed. He's been hiding. It looks like it's dark. Okay, fuck. Do these come in, in, in order? Oh, no. I don't know, I can't... Wonder if I've missed one. Oh, is that Brad? Am I Alex? Dude, yeah, 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 I'm Alex. <clears throat> yeah, one sec, just gonna check if there are any more premonitions. Premonition? Premonitions. hate missing those, you know? Perfect time to join the stream. Tio doesn't know the characters yet. That's- it's gonna be a while. So this is... Brad. This is Alex. Oh, what's this? Brad is lame. Right, yeah. Full name Felicity Dubois. doesn't look kosher. Hmm. What was her name? Was it spelled wrong? Felchite. Felchite? Did they spell height wrong? Hold up. <laughs> I'm picking it up a third time. <laughs> height. <laughs> I think this is on purpose. Full aim. Full aim. This is fucking fake, dude. Hair's color. Everything's wrong. Felchite. 
Felici Felicite Dubois. What did she say her name was? What? Fliss, short for Felchite. <laughs> yeah, this is fake. This is fake. Diver number? I mean, that's a fucking lousy fake ID, if I ever saw one. Do you know how to use that? I, uh, turn it off. No. Not really. You might want to just let it do its thing. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, we turned it off. Okay, sorry. God, alright, are we- ooh. There's something down here. I, th I swear I just saw a flash under. This is just that. Okay. No thanks. I could talk to her earlier, but then I went away after she got mad at me. Maybe I could talk now. There we go. Hi. You know, we have rules out here for a reason. You guys gotta respect that. He looks at the camera. Uh You know what, bitch? Fliss, we paid a lot of money for this particular dive. In this particular spot. Every time I take a group of you people out, it's the same thing. No regard for anyone else's customs. These rules are all pretty <laughs> we... basic stuff. How much experience do you have with these kind of dives? Oh, I do them all the time. Suspicious fake credentials. Hell yeah. How experienced are you? <laughs> Excuse me? I mean, I know what your fake credentials say, but I don't know the truth. Were you snooping around? I was standing right next to you. You don't trust me? The fake certificate is only temporary. My old one expired and renewal out here is like extortion, okay? Yeah, this that's dive right. is supposed to bankroll the fees. But that's not exactly following the rules now, is it? So I guess that applies to all of us. That's not exactly so this following the rules work. now, is it? Disturbing it would be illegal and immoral. Uh, I don't like either of these answers. I get it. <laughs> How much? Who's going to know? <laughs> I'm going to say nothing on this one. You know what? I can't stop you. Just respect the rules down there. Don't do anything stupid that'll get my ass in trouble. This is how I talk to Alex. Alex, may we have some tea? I love hey. you. Oh, hey. Hello. What? You know your brother can't handle his drink. Ah, uh, just a little seasick. I'm impressed you found this wreck, really. Well? Yeah, thanks. All right. I think we're good. It really looks like I can... No, okay, I think we're good. I'm not doing good with Fliss as uh, as Alex. <laughs> Look at that. Fliss agreed with Alex. All right, let's do the dive. Okay, so this is the rebreather. Way cooler than a regular scuba setup. It takes all that CO2 that you'd normally just exhale into the water, and instead, it gets totally reused. Then it reduces decompression time on your way up. State of the art. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, O2 check done. <laughs> whoa, 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 Eager Beaver, you gotta check your O2 first. Uh, thanks for setting me up straight. Thanks for setting me straight. Okay, you little clown fishes. I'm gonna go see what Fliss is up to. You behave, Connie. Looking for a first mate, Captain. Okay, do we take the baton or the weird device? I'm gonna take the baton. Soon it will be you. Out of the frying pan. All right, kids. 
I got the bang stick. Good to go. Oh, I heard that. It's a bang it. stick. Oh. Remember the rules, please. You ever have to use one? What's a, On a shark? bang nope. stick? Okay, it's for sharks. Now either we take Julia or take. What the fuck is this option? Hug your girlfriend, or I'm gonna grab the gadget, I guess. You're on camera. I'll take the wheels. Let's get a before photo. Selfie. It's a camera, apparently. <laughs> Good smile, eh? Right. She went flesh so tight. She acts like we're going to ransack the plane. Hey, a souvenir would be cool. It's not like one tiny little thing would hurt anybody. Mm, I don't know about I that. Can't tell if you won't. <laughs> not like we can scan the wreck every night at sundown. There. That shape. That's gotta be it. Whoa. That is like way bigger than I thought. Damn. It's pretty intact too. This is a fucking remarkable find. Let's swim around a little and find a way in. Howdy, Captain. You fancy a pint with your second in command? You are not my second in command. Third in command. No. Fresh and eager cabin boy. <laughs> Still a no. Your well paying, dashingly handsome, seafaring client is requesting the pleasure of your company over a frosty amber liquid. I get to be her. Um, pass. I need to focus. I'm gonna be the pass. dick that I am. I have to stay focused on your friends down there. Pretty nice ride you got here. Where'd you get the cash? Uh, don't ask a lady about her money. You know it's not polite to ask a lady about what her money. What the fuck? Fair enough. Not to be I so was just stern. About about myself, and I thought maybe you'd like to point me in the right direction. Uh, it would be my pleasure. It would be my singular pleasure to help you part with your money. Uh, you know what? I better spend some time keeping the Duke of Milan ship shape. Aye, aye. Relationship updated. How'd we do? Fliss, Conrad. It's the same. Fliss told Conrad she'd be happy to help him buy a boat. Fliss did not appreciate Conrad flirting with her. Eh. I I don't think it would have been a good idea to have a beer, you know. She she needs to stay on top of it. What's uh what's bearings? What is this? Okay, yeah. So these are leading to things. Follow his gut. So taking the ban bang stick on the dive is something that's going to lead to something. I think that was a good idea. Okay. Can I check this as well? Okay, cool. God, I have to hold R2. I keep forgetting that. Okay, let's do that again. Dear Miss Dubois, this letter is a formal notification that you are in default of your obligation to make regular payments on your personal loan. The loan holds a remainder of $24,000 with a sum of 3000 payable by 1st August. Of August. This amount has been overdue since that date, and you appear to have ignored multiple requests for payments or a discussion to reconsolidate your debt. Unless the outstanding amount, 3400 is received by 30th of August, that's today, we will have no doubt but to begin the foreclosure process against your collateral, namely the marine vessel, the Duke of Milan. 
Dive trip, 5,000. Hotel tours, 2,400. Eddie's fishing trip, sell laptop? Total for month, 8,500. Call bank, cancel sell. <gasps> Another painting. I keep these around okay so this one when we did the like 10 minute trial demo thing we uh we had the choice to do this to drive away with the boat um i guess this is saying do it <laughs> get away with conrad so that's that one and we still have this one it's high and dry foundering wreck so if i get the choice maybe hide with uh brad Really, I get it saying, don't do it or you'll be shot. Uh, for this one, unfortunately, I did that in the 10 minute demo and he made it away. So I'm going to assume that's what it's saying. Can I do something more here? Could have changed it. That would be the ultimate move. That would be so impressive. Why can I check this stuff as well? I guess it's if I missed it with the guy. Alright. Maybe she says so. Am I going through someone else's stuff here? Going through Julia's stuff? Meanwhile, like, my ID's out in the open and I get mad at Alex for looking at that. It's like the worst fake ID ever. How's it going? Knocked out by cold frosty. Man, I feel like such a wimp. Um, it's your vacation. Hey, it's your vacation. You're allowed to overdo it. I am officially starting a temperance club. Party of one. Lifetime membership. Hope the lovebirds are having the time of their lives down there. Hope they know what they're doing. I hope they know what they're doing down there. Attitude matters 20 meters down. Alex plays the goof, but he was pretty serious about acing his diving certification. What other dives? What other dives have they done? When I got the booking, I thought they were newbies. Alex and Julia have both logged plenty of dives. I'm the real amateur, but I'm ready. Huh. Gotta get back up top. Check you later. What do we have here? Is this the same one? It flashed up. I thought maybe that meant I hadn't looked at that. Ah, never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Can I go in here? Nope. Alright, I'm done. Coolio. I could turn that on or I can... Look at this. What's this? Duke of Milan, 20 miles north of the coast, over. Reading you. How can we help? Over. Looking for a weather report. Inquiring about wreck guidelines. Looking for a weather report. Looking for a weather report in my area? Over. Got a severe front heading into your vicinity from northwest. Thunder, lightning, 20... Uh-oh. What's that about? Was it meant to cut there? That was a weird cut, right? That's not the Coast Guard. That is not the Coast Guard. So we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Be quiet and let me handle it. I'm uh, sober. We are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? Uh, 
We've got divers in the water. Guys, you gotta keep back. We've got divers in the water. Who the fuck are these idiots? Hey, we got damage here. You see this? Look at our boat. We can take care of this, man. It's not a problem. What do you think? Like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad. Let's make it 20. Well, You're shoot, the you fucking moron like that drove into our boat. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. I don't know what Conrad... Why is Conrad being an absolute cunt? I feel like that was so out of character. He's just like, uh, I'd like to have a good time. And it's like, hey, fuck bag. And he just starts, ah, I guess he's a rich, he was rich. I mean, he's rich with Julie, aren't they siblings? I thought he was gonna be a cool guy, not like a dick Conrad, cool guy. Really? really? The rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. Julio. The turret. We can get in through there. You're gonna go through the turret? Okay, cut. Oh, careful. Could be dangerous. Uh, ladies first? I know what I'm doing. Oh, fuck. I don't know what I'm doing. Let's go. Can I just take a second to say, holy shit, Alex, we- Oh, sorry. I mean, can you believe it? It's a dream come true. <laughs> Let's not waste any time for that explore. Okay. Okay. Devil in the deep. We got boats around, our boat's sinking. Foundering dive. Okay, Julia seems to be having a heart attack or something. No, no, no. This is when he asks her to marry him. And it does not look like it's at... This isn't our boat. This is later on. This is when we're on the ship, it looks like. It looks rusty in the back. Yeah. No, no, no. I mean, this tells me fucking nothing. I'll have to keep an eye out for any time Alex and uh, Julia are on the ship. And they're outside against the wall. And then not have a heart attack. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what that leads to. Totally gonna miss something here. Julia, leave it. Ooh. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? Live a little. I like to take a risk now and then. Don't be such a gonad. I'll be fine. Gonad? Seriously? Am I dead? What's happening? Live a little, Edgelord. Here we go. I'm gonna be on it.
do something stupid down here, that's it. One chance, you get that. Uh, both of these feel kind of okay. Uh, I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I don't need a lifeguard. Searching in progress. Search area one, clear. Search area two, clear. Search area three, clear. This says it was a rescue plane. Launched from a US base. Looking for the ship, perhaps. They were on their way to help out a ship. How are we doing? We're doing alright. Alright. <laughs> alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's fine. Bullet holes all down the fuselage. Brad's going to flip when he sees this. Really afraid I'm gonna miss something here, dude. Is 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 he stuck? What's he doing? You all right, Alex? Good God! <sighs> Ugh. Ugh. he's holding something. Happen here. No look at things. They knew they were goners. Takes a fucking picture. He's holding something. Oh, okay. Can I can I do something with this? Why can I? Is this just a look? So he had a girl in his life. Can I do something with this? No. Oh. There's a sparkling thing. What back here? You sure? How far back? On the left? I don't know about that. Oh, is that it? God, it's so easy to miss these things. What the Check hell? It out. They reconfigured Thanks, the man. bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. Yeah, they were definitely looking for a. Uh... One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? Let's see what else we can find. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Sure. <laughs> Bearing updated. Am I supposed to be... Excuse me? I think I wet my wetsuit. Life gives you lemons. Ew. Pilot and co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. These transitions are a bit hectic. We gotta get out of here, now! I feel like that was really so abrupt. Get it, get it! Get, get that! <gasps> shark? Now there's a shark? Yeah, come at me, shark! It's a Grey Reef shark. Not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Thought this was the right time, but then... Didn't know if it was the right time, but I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't. Yes. Oh. 
I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh-huh. Julia. This is really sweet. Marry me. Uh... Okay, so uh, we almost died. I, I, oh crap! I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just, I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Uh, yes. Alex, wow! What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes, yes! I'll marry the shit out of you. <laughs> How does it end? All right, handsome hero. You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where'd that other boat come from? Wait. Julia. We gotta decompress here. Damn! What the fuck? Decompress! We we have to decompress. Uh Yes. Never, you know, yeah, you okay. gotta decompress. Always decompress. decompress. Right. Oh shit. Uh this is taking too long. Oh my god, this is taking too long. This is torture. Just a few more seconds. Mm -hmm. Okay now. Go, go! Yeah. Hey, what the hell is going on? What the hell happened? It's cool, man. Everything's all right now. They were grilling. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. Uh, why are you painting the ocean? What's up with that other boat? Why are you paying the ocean? So, why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Ha! <laughs> Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane. And it is huge. Full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys. Can you all just shut up for like one second? Oh my god, let's make this about oh, me. shit. Dude, bro, congrats. Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. All right. I... I bet you... Oh, hold on. Let's see what he says. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Yes. Alex yes, and his Daddy. little brother Brad trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. Nice. And Julia, the love of Alex's <sighs> life. And he the love of hers. Mm. What about Conrad? A bold fellow, you might say. Nah, hell yeah. Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss. Strong. Forthright, stubborn. She appears somewhat immune to Conrad's charms, so far at least. He'll keep trying though. Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. You're doing well. Thank you. All right, good review from Papa. All right. Quick little breather. I bet you if you're doing co-op, the explosion with the grill and shit, the other person's doing that. But that would mean that me being under there not knowing what's going on, I'd be like, hey, what did you just do? And they're like, don't worry about it. I just fucked up the grill, you know? So I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I'm enjoying it so far. I think it, it's got the same... I'm surprised some people are saying it's not as good as Until Dawn. Until Dawn is also weird. And kind of like... Just odd. You're supposed to do co-op without talking to each other, I think? Yeah, that's why I didn't want to do co-op. It became really weird when we were talking to each other. It was really chaotic. Um, and for stream, it's weird if we're not talking to each other. 
I guess you do, if you do co-op, you should just not, you should not be in a call together, and you're just both doing your things. But that's only fun for the viewer. For me, that'd be really confusing, you know? I don't know. I don't know. I prefer the solo experience with these kind of games. Games. Um, right. Carthenox, we're gonna keep playing. I'm just gonna read this through the subs that have come in. Carthenox, thanks for subbing. An auto-tuned queef. Thanks for subbing as well. Metal Tone, how you doing? 25 months. Welcome back to yet another one. Justin Morgan with a five, the best YouTuber and Twitch streamer I've ever had the pleasure to view. Keep up the amazing work. Thank you. Thank you, Justin. Thanks for the five months. Hey, Verb with the five as well. You're the only Twitch streamer I actually subscribe to. Keep up the great work and stay thick. Thanks, man. I'm, I'm honored. Puggy, thanks for subbing and welcome. Silesh with the three months. I don't know, Jesse with the three as well. With love from Texas. Thank you. Chiad the Great with a two. Hopefully the second of many. Much love to you, Theo. You're a big inspiration to me and I've watched your videos since the start of Siege. It's been a long and great journey. Much love. Much love, man. Welcome back. That's lovely to hear. Daryl D with the 18. Uh, 18 months of great content. Thanks for all the laughs, Theo. And the content tick. Thanks, man. Happy one and a half year. James, 20 bucks. I've been watching you since the Trouble in Terrace Town days. Time and time again, you make arguably some of the best content on YouTube. This has been long overdue, but thank you for the countless hours of entertainment and keep up the good work. Thank you, man. That's lovely. Thanks for the $20, dude. Um, thank you very much. Thanks for the many years of watching as well, James. Dog Swanson with the seven months. Hey, man. Thanks for the seven. Stan Wouters, thanks for subbing. Colmix, Coolmix with the fi Colmix with the fifteen. Winter Soldier with the seven. Sir Pac-Man with the eleven. Another bunch of subs coming in. Diab Diablo, Diablo the fourteenth. Digar. Akibo and PD Gang, thank you guys so much for subbing, welcome. Estan, thanks for the four months, and Lee, then Snoobbe, a thousand bits. I found the donate button, hell yeah dude, thanks for the 1,000 bits. Cheers. Um, I'm gonna go pee pee. Pee pee break. Hello. Yes? Hello. Hello my love, are you enjoying the game? Yeah. Yeah. I will talk from a distance. I'm covering my nibs. Yeah. Hi guys. Are you enjoying the game as much as I am? <laughs> Some of the, the facial animations, like when they were underwater and he was like proposing to her, she was like, yes, I'll marry the shit out of you. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. <laughs> like completely dead from here upwards. It was hilarious. <laughs> I hear the tip tap of a Luna. Oh, she went to the living room. Never mind. Is that not how I supposed to act? Yes, completely dead in the face, of course. <laughs> Surprise, it's me, not Tio. <laughs> How's life? Life's okay, thanks. Life is a. Okay. It's good though, I like it. It's a good gift. Tiwo? Yes? I want something sweet. Okay, if you want me. Oh, <laughs> <nice baby. laughs>
Da -de -da -da. I'm gonna keep playing, honey. Hey, Scotty Hoss, thanks for the vibe. Saw your YouTube story and had to jump on. Keep up the excellent work. Hell yeah. Wonder how many are here from the YouTube story. That's cool. I've never done one before. I don't even know if it went up, but apparently it did. Thanks for the five. Mal Kalith, thanks for the nine months as well. Welcome back. Thank you, guys. Uh, Alex said, don't play yet. I have to wee. Okay, I'll wait for you. So we'll just wait a minute. Most of them can't talk. Yeah, if someone comes from YouTube and they've never been here before, then they won't be a sub, will they? We're in sub mode. Sorry to non-subs. 99 out of 100 streams, we don't have sub mode on. But when it's games that are very involved in story, we go sub mode to keep spoilers away. Keep it under control a bit more. You playing the whole game today? From what I've heard, it's shorter than Until Dawn. If it turns out it is shorter, and it's from what I've read, it's five hours long. But because I do pauses to talk to stream and stuff, I imagine it'll be maybe six for me. But, uh, yeah, I could, I could finish it today. Most likely, yeah. Okay, can I start now? Okay, love you. Let's play. Because I like pausing and looking at, like, like I, I like, with these kind of games, I like taking my time. I feel like my webcam can be a tad higher. I like taking my time with these kind of games and doing stuff like uh, analyzing the bearings and the pictures and shit. So us... Julia waited to decompress before surfacing. That's good, I guess. I'm, I'm hoping that's good. I like looking at the pic- you know, studying it, being ready. Yeah. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball- Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Oh, well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, Mano. Wasn't Comrade Mano. gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Let's have a nice wing. Honestly? I wasn't sure how it would feel, but now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. Uh, Dad can foot the, Daddy can take care of the belt. Now we'll plan it together. Now you're speaking my language. And taking lessons. Yeah, I can't wait for us to plan everything together. I was so worried you might say no. Uh, of course. Of course I was going to say yes, you dimwit. I'm happy you did. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. So you can walk all over me? Like a rug, so you can walk all over me. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. Bearing. When they talked about it later, they were both happy. Lovely. Okay, so that's another one on the proposal that's gone. Oh, wow, there's so many. Cool. Go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. So, which one is, uh... Your bedroom. You know, where the magic happens. Oh, yeah. Nice. Every YouTuber ever. Uh... Apologize. I'll say nothing. Okay, that's enough of that. Conrad, Beers, where are they? 
Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. The YouTuber thing? That's, um... When YouTubers do setup videos. I think I did that in my first setup video. This is where the magic happens. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. What's this? So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? We're leaving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. All right. Oh. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Popping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. Air rescue service, Conwyn Island. Proud you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that savvy. Two, I was talking about med school. Still, bro over the top, bro. Bro over the top, bro. So, we're going again tomorrow. All right. Uh, yeah. It seemed a little too dangerous for my blood. Don't sweat it. I'll go down with you. Sorry. We'll be fine. Uh, I'm gonna go find Julia. What? The fuck? I'm right there. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Sorry, I got distracted. No worries. Let's go get it. I think a lot of moments they've tried to make it for co-op. And so it, it gets weird Let's when you do it solo. Up. I didn't think that they would be so made for co-op, because it really seems Come like here, the ultimate soon. experience is alone. Easy, Tiger. We should get back. Right here. <laughs> You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone, check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave <laughs> everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Reckless, all of you! Did she even say... What did she say? Yeah, she took the... Yeah, she did take the bullet, bullet and the other thing. Okay, maybe. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here too. Well, let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Yeah, Fliss. <laughs> I don't know. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll 
isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. <laughs> ah, one track mind. He of the one track mind. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. I don't know, I'm gonna say nothing. That's weird. Okay, so... Who did it? So, the woman, uh, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here. In the closet. Oh. Uh. <laughs> the husband, eh? <laughs> so is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseas. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and, sure enough, there's a man inside, but he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer, and he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ah! What the fuck? <laughs> yeah, it's so ah, gross. Oh. Hey, oh. Super twist. Nice. Nice one, Squire. What the hell is that? He times it with the lightning? Ha! <laughs> That's just my kid. Uh, all right, cool story. You have me going. Pretty cool. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out. Witty Brad. Oh, here we go. I so I've played about 10 minutes from here in the trial demo thing. In case I, you notice that I know a few things. The fucking door, dude. Yeah, I wonder if Brad is hiding under the bed now. They will never have seen Brad when they were, came on their boat. Yeah, I think Brad's hiding under the bed. That's what we saw in that picture. That's why he's not showing up here. We'll, uh, we'll her. 
Let's ungag him. There we go. Everyone's ungagged. So he's bleeding now because I hit him with a bottle. That's good. Hey! Hey! Damn it! Stop it! Almost free. Hey, so, uh, good news, bad news. I don't see how this could get any worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, God damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How is that good news? <laughs> I asked the good news first. You're such an idiot, <laughs> Jesus. Hey. Hey. What are they going to do to us? Hey. I don't even want to know. I want to get out of here. We're in a lot of danger. Uh, let's untie. Guys, we gotta get untied. Like now. <laughs> Shit. That's no good. Come on. Nice try, bitch! Name's Conrad. Oh, fuck her. Oh. I'll be back for you later. <laughs> Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. The little lady. Dodge it, Conrad. Ah, nice try. All right, what can we do? You know how to treat a lady? What do you want? Uh, in the classic Conrad spirit, we're going with this one. Oh yeah, you know how to treat a lady, right? Please just stop. Please. Just stop, man. We finish with him later. We'll, we'll, we'll finish with him later. How can you even... We'll, there's no way that's not like morphed. We'll finish with him later. Whoa! We'll finish with him later. Be on your best behavior, we'll, we'll. little man. Okay. 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 Julia, you're coming back. Jesus, Conrad.
stick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Hmm. They don't hit women. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy buddy with them. Did you see my brother? Hmm. No, but I'm sure he's fine. No. But I'm, I'm sure he's fine. These guys probably just want money or something. All right. Turn around. Quick question before I forget. Do you want me to move my webcam to top right instead? Because top left, when I say stuff, it says, like, bearings updated. You know, a relationship updated. And I don't think you guys can see that, because my webcam's there, right? <clears throat> How's the size? I could take it top right. If you want, I could change the size as well. Maybe I could do like that. Whoop! Just a touch smaller, you know? And then you know what? Just to just to finish it off a little bit, we we'll give it a little, we we'll give it a little whoop, a little brighter. That's nice. There we go. Let's get back to it. Sorry, I, I keep seeing it and then forgetting to ask. <clears throat> That's better. You're very warm. I can I can make me a little a little bluer. You want some blue? I'll throw in a little blue. Throw in a little blue, a little blue blue. There we go. I look kind of sweaty, but you know, what you gonna do? It's a warm room. Ah, let's play. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. What? Turn around. Oh yeah, powder me up, baby. True beauty. Ah, <sighs> quick makeup session. Okay, they're coming. <sighs> yeah, he already banged on the door. Why is he worried about them seeing that it's- Oh shit, did you guys see that? The guy with the hat, the top hat. I swear that was the guy with the top hat in the window. Did anyone see it? I'm fine, they didn't touch me. About our parents. What? He was standing there. How much money they have. Alex, I'm so sorry. What? What is it? They took my ring. Oh, Julia. fuck. It's okay. It's okay. We just have to wait and see what they want to do with us. Yeah, yeah, check that clip people posted in the chat if you want to see it. The guy with the top hat was right there. I guess because he's telling the story, maybe? Maybe it's like an Easter egg? So, eight. Eight seconds. The storm's eight miles away. They came here on a boat. Maybe we can take it. Yeah. Yeah, it's a speedboat. The main guy here. He's got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. I can get on the boat. If you can distract them, I can get on that boat. The dude with the gun won't even realize until I'm long gone. Seven seconds. Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. Dude, he counted during that? Loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. While talking? I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys, distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. So it's gonna be at six. Right, let's do it. It was eight, seven, now six. In the demo, I fucked that up. But it feels a little cheating. Here we go. Three, four, five, six. Conrad, just get to the boat. 
We've seen a picture with him leaving in the boat. That's what I'm doing. Okay, uh, escape. We're escaping. You know what? I've had enough. I want you off my boat right now. Get off my damn boat! Bye bye! Oh, crap. We're out of here. Hop! Scoot! Circle, that was close. Bye bye. Oh fuck. Ooh. Oh. Oh, we can't catch him with this old junker. I guess the picture is warning us that he's gonna take a shot, maybe. Right, but we dodge it. The Calvary. You lose. Let him go. No! Alex, this is crazy. Conrad's coming back with help. For now, you listen to me. Don't make this any harder than it has to be. <laughs> You're delusional. <laughs> you win. them downstairs. Take this. Use it if you have to. Sit down. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bon de con! Stop, you assholes. It's my boat. Stop! Stop. Shut up, or I'll put my fist in your face. Olsen! Come here! His name's Olsen. Olsen. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this? Manchurian goo. I hope Conrad isn't gone for the rest of the game. Like, obviously that was a good move for the story. Like, he goes and gets help and what, I assume. But, I like him. I want to play him. Talking. There is no harm in just talking. You wanna talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has gotta be in on this. What? She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. What the fuck? The captain, they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in Kahoot. Where the hell is this coming from, paranoid motherfucker? How dare you? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? The hell is how this? How dare you, you overprivileged ass. Yeah, how dare you? You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us yeah, up. Yeah, Jesus cool. Christ. What a cork in it. Nice try. Sit still, all of you. Yeah, the fake ID. Perhaps that's what led to it. But still, I feel like that's a fucking leap and a half. Find out how long the storm is gonna last. You try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Get it? 
I feel like if it's true, it's the wrong time to bring it up with everyone there. Over. To have them know she's that he's in, he knows. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, ask for help. How about to, he doesn't? Uh. Can't. Rem oh. Uh, 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 how bad's the storm? Hey. Uh. Just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Big storm coming in from the east. Gonna hit you pretty hard, but should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, Duke. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. Uh, nothing wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay. A okay out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Everything you can. Wait. Oh. Okay, yeah, just cut it all loose. Help. Take hand. Say that out loud. Oh, the hell? Anybody know about the fourth person or the fifth? Uh, he could help. Okay, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad stays Brad hidden. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. the guy. Can you guys hear me when I this loud? <laughs> it's so loud for me. <laughs> I love it though. Nice. Okay. Ghost ship time. Everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite... Okay. Yeah. I think Conrad could have died if I didn't dodge the bullet. It's my thought. You appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I think so, yeah. I dare say we'll find out. I, I, I am. Um, like, part of me wishes I didn't go away. Maybe he dies if I don't go away at some point later. I am, but I like, like him as a character. some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, let's get the forewarning. <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act Two, Scene Seven. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads, "All that glisters is not gold." Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I Okay, so if I see something shiny, story. be wary. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. <sighs> Probably. 
probably shouldn't have said that. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. Okay. Okie dokie. Let's see how we're doing here. I mean, Conrad's still on the relationship list. So, well, yeah, we'll see. So, speedboat. Alex took the bang stick on the dive. Julia used the bang stick to open the door to the cockpit. Alex's knife was not used on the dive. Ah, because I used the bang stick. And because of that, Conrad rushed for the speedboat during the kidnapping. Yeah, because he came out with a knife. Conrad started the speedboat and made a break for it. Alex brought Danny on deck with some scissors at his throat. Oh, okay. With Olsen about to fire a Conrad, Rad, Alex hesitated. However, Conrad was still able to avoid Olsen's shots. Cool. Okay. Let's see what it leads to. Proposal. Brad took out blah 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 and they took the ring. The fisherman took Julie's engagement ring. Yeah. And the bends, nothing's happened. Julia waited to decompress before surfacing. I wonder if this is her fucking up because of the decompression. Maybe this doesn't happen now that we waited during the decompression. Just a thought. But I feel like there would have been an X on this then or something. Hmm. Which one was this? Yeah, so Brad hid successfully. We know that. He's going to come out later. We're going to see that scene. And he's left as well. So we've done two of these. Well, no, we've done one and we're about to... Yeah. Cool. Um, I'm going to go pee again. Be back in uh, in a minute. I've been drinking a lot of water. Sorry about that. Find me a snack if you do any. Ah, my balls. Ah. Right, Sir Pac-Man, thanks for the three bucks. Love you, Teal. Just got here, don't want to stay because you're already two hours in. I'll catch the stream after it ends so I can watch the entire thing. I will watch old videos. Lovely, thanks for the three bucks. If you've come in and you don't want to catch it in the middle, it'll be up on more Teal this weekend. Uh, you generation, my name is Matt. Thank you guys for subbing. Dwight for life for the 13 months. GD for the 5 months. Here you're breathtaking. In Germany we call you Ehrenman von daher. Sub for a brother. Alright, thanks for the 5 months. d Jack for the 22 months. Kramer Gamer with the 9. Can't wait to play this game. Hell yeah. Memphis Meow, Meow Man with the 2. Welcome back. Bork Boop, adopt me. Thanks for the 1 year Bork Boop. And God of Grizzly. Thanks for the sub, man. Welcome. Alright, let's get back to it. The door, the door, quick, the door. Ah, did he get dinner? Junior. Junior, take the distributor cap off.
the hell is that? Go. Is that? Okay. Is, what's a distributor, Cap? Makes the engine run. Ah. Where the hell are we? Jesus. We can't leave without it, then. Let me check right. Oh, okay, didn't like that. Sorry. Seems really dark. What have we had? Hey. Who's this fucking low IQ moron? Well, what the fuck do you think I'm gonna do with that? Don't take that. Well, it's not a fucking weapon. This whole place is a floating death trap. Aren't you guys here for like treasure and shit? Keep moving. Valuable information. <gasps> what was that? And see what it was. Was that some sort of jewelry? Yeah, we gotta try. Yeah, I thought maybe it was a bracelet. It's just kind of weird. Ooh, I bet you that's how uh, Brian... Bruce? Bruce knows where we've gone. He follows, he picks up the bracelet, for example. He's like, ah, oh, they went this way. Brad, 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 I did Brad. Not sign up for a trip to Chris <laughs> I thought it was Bruce. I knew it was some sort of manly bruh. The Mask of Madness. Do you dare to look death in the eye? Now showing in the mess hall. Witty Bruce. What was his name? Brad. Witty Brad. And so on. I don't really want to know what we're about to find anymore. Okay, so they're nervous, basically. Shut up, we keep going. Miller. Alright, cool. I get really worried I miss something when uh, going in these kind of corridors. So hard to tell. Dude, she has the same kind of uh, face expressions they do in uh, Until Dawn. Ralph Baker. You're covering Patterson's guard duties tomorrow. He is sick again. First is 2400. Check the chart for rotation. 
Again? This is the third time this week! None of us like it down here. Maybe Patterson should just buck up. Just get on it! Ralph Baker. Sergeant Ralph Baker. All of a sudden, there's a okay. door here. All of you. Okay, all of Into you. The Into the room. Okay. They lock hey, us in. It's pitch black in here. Give us the light. Maybe we should give them something. So they can find their way out? Thanks. I miss this. What the hell is this fucking place? Uh take some action. What? I don't know. Manchurian gold. It has to have something to do with the Manchurian gold. We're not far from those coordinates. Maybe this is the ship that was carrying the gold. Guess it's a possibility. We can't just sit around. We need a plan. Let's get back to our boat, get the hell away from here, and never step foot off dry land again. How's that for a plan? I saw one of the goons take something out of the boat. Distributor cap. Makes the engine work. The Duke of Milan is a floating brick without it. We need to get it back. While those guys are out panning for Manchurian gold or whatever they think they're gonna find on this floating coffin, we gotta take advantage and look around for a way out of here. Fliss? I just wanted to say that, um, I might have gotten things kind of wrong back there. Uh, excuse me? I may have kind of prematurely come to the conclusion that maybe, you know, you're working some kind of side deal with these guys or whatever. But I, I mean, obviously that's not true. They're being just as bad to you as they are to us. So, yeah. Allow me to translate. He's saying that he's sorry. Well, I... Well, your apology is kinda accepted. Cool. Cool? Cool, 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 cool. Where am I? Am I still... She... She fucking just sits down? Where the ship was. We're all searching. She's like, I'm gonna sit. Hey, baby doll. Mmm. I miss you like crazy. Three months until my next leave. Alex, and jumping into your no arms. Sir. Three months. I've been on some shore leave. I've been on some shore leave with the guys. Had a few beers. But don't worry, I'm keeping everything ready for you. If you catch my drift. How's work? I hope that boss of yours is leaving you alone. I know you can take care of yourself, but I feel helpless being so far away, and I want to keep you safe. This guy, Miller? Guy seems pretty spooked. I get a lot of time to think while I'm guarding the cargo holds. It's dark and spooky down there. Some of the other guys have seen figures roaming around, but I've always got you with me to keep me safe too. I will be, be with you soon and get a job as a mechanic, and we can get married and have two children. Not three, two. We'll be happy together forever. Love you so much, Mwah, Miller. Uh, let's check out what's on the wall here. Scratch marks. Ship mascot, a dog. Well, that dog's dead now. This is 
very strange. Why? It's glasses. Excuse me? What is this device? This is extremely strange. Good work, Fliss! They all chill while she finds the way out, does all the work. Hey, look! Look at this! Hopefully I get to steal loot. I swear, if they leave this room without me getting to finish... Ah, oh, thank god. I wonder why they all left it behind. Fuck! American Overseas Gangland, Archaeologists Missing in Iraq. 24 British archaeologists have gone missing in the Zagros Mountains of Iraq. The Hodgson expedition arrived in the kingdom in September last year with the stated goal of unearthing the... The... It says there at the bottom, hold on. The... State... With the stated goal of unearthing the... Not gonna work that way. I swear it said for a while. Ah! Uh, relics! Relics something something something. That'll be the Manchurian gold. I'm going to explore the engine room. Danny, you search the holds. There are cargo holds? Are you serious? Have you seen this place? It's falling apart, Olsen. I don't have the tools I need to get through. Do as I say, and that's all. Hold on! Fuck you. What? What did you say? Nothing. Asshole. Stop. Stop it. Shut up, Junior. You're staying here and watching the prisoners. Prisoners? Is this a prison? Lovely. We'll be rich soon if you keep your mouth shut and do as I say. Something's wrong here. I don't know. This place is weird. Hold on, this is a very important part, Alex. Olsen, we were only supposed to rob them. Now, we're stuck on the rotten mold that stinks of death. And with prisoners, the whole thing is going too far. Shut up. Both of you, shut up. I'm your captain, and I'm telling you to obey my orders. What's up? What's up? McDonald's? Uh, yeah, I'll take a, I'll take nine chicken nuggets, a McFeast, some French fries, and a dip and a coke. Cause I can heat some of it up after the stream. You know what dips I like, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I'll have one garlic dip and one uh, that brown shit. What's it called? Curry? Brown shit. Uh, yeah, yeah, curry. One garlic, one curry. Yeah. Do you want specifically nine? I don't know how it is in other countries. Here they sell them in packs. You can either have a 20 pack, a nine pack, or a six pack. I think. McFeast is a Scandinavian thing for McDonald's. They don't have it in other countries. It's uh, my favorite McDonald's burger. Have I checked everything? I think I have. Yeah, I think I'm good. Let me just check over here, this corner. I think they, they don't have uh, spicy chicken nuggets here. It's what do you thing. think? I can't get it open. Over here. Jump scare in three, 
Two. Maybe we can bend it open one. and get out of here. Never mind. Uh, this is the way out. Yeah, this is the way out. You want me to just smash through this wall? They're gonna hear us. Oh yeah, sure. Big man on campus. Someone should create a distraction. Okay. This is gonna be loud. I'll scream. Sure. <laughs> ah! <laughs> Fliss, wanna do the honors? Uh, distract. Just yell. Or just bang. Hey! Hey, you dumb, sweaty mongrel! <laughs> you got cheese for brains, huh? And <laughs> one of your smells like barrel of fish eggs. That's right, your mother's all suck eggs. Hey, hey. Oh, that's, that's where he's had enough. My mother does not suck eggs. She did it! <laughs> ah, that's funny. Uh, replace. He yells? We're missing, and that's his reaction. Ah! Stay quiet. We need to keep going. Come on. There's gotta be some stairs around here. The fuck? Traits updated. What's traits? Is that this? Okay, yeah, it's just. God, we are not doing well with Fliss. Or are we? Fliss made an assumption about the gold. He didn't like that? Why wouldn't he like that? Fliss is enraged. Oh wait, this is in the beginning. Or is it? <laughs> oh yeah, no. Fliss made an assumption. So when she said assumed it's the gold, he was like, what the fuck, Fliss? I don't like you as much now. I'm gonna explore a little, guys. All ship personnel, extra guard duty regulations. Due to the special security precautions on this mission, additional procedures must be adopted by soldiers on guard duty. Double guard duty on all doors and all on all watches. No talking, no playing of games, no smoking, no alcohol, no gambling. Guard personnel found breaking any of these regulations will be met with the sternest of punishments up to and including court martial. <gasps> By order of Captain Ford. Guys, nobody is allowed into 3A. Seriously, nobody. Okay, guys, remember that. 3A. Stay away from 3A. Oh, fuck. Is this 3A? Wait, 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 wait. Immediately. All right, no, I think we're good. The mascot, the dog. Jeez, maybe this is what scared everyone off. Okay. That's it? We're just looking in here? Surely there's something of interest in here. That's it, there's a jump scare and a pile of clothes. Surely I could do something here. Hold on. 
No? What if I aim the... Oh, okay. Yeah, I'm surprised the rats have survived. I guess rats will survive anything, though. I'm gonna have another look here, because this seems really weird of a room. Alright. Guess that's it. What a waste of a room. I don't understand. <clears throat> it's just so weird that they all just vanished. It's like they were just snapped up right in the middle of whatever they were doing. It's not possible, right? Right. Out of hound bounds. So, cargo hold two is out of bounds. Go through this door. Oh. Bathroom. I don't like bathrooms. The fuck is this camera angle? Ah. Was he supposed to be rotating as if he's sitting in a chair? Uh, was the animation weird or something? No, I know he moved. He went like this. But it looked really weird. It was like clipping into the into the cupboard. <laughs> Eileen Reed! Dear Ailes, I'm finally coming home. This is it, darling. One last trip across the Pacific, and I'll be back to you and the girls. I can't wait to see your faces. Uh, faces. Tell Ned and Nancy to get excited. They're gonna see Daddy real soon, and he's got gifts for y'all. I'm sure glad to be back at the ska, the sea. <laughs> I, I like the, the it's, I find it so tough. I, I read the first paragraph of the regular, but I find like it's good for immersion to ra to read the the actual letter. It's hotter. <laughs> it's hotter than an Oklahoma summer out here on land. And there's no escape from it. I've been alright, because I got your letters to keep me going. They censor them, which is probably for the best, because sometimes the others steal them to read, and I don't like them reading our letters. Then it's, uh, I know something. I know he's not meeting with me, messing with me, yeah. Really creeps me out. He keeps telling me there's a little boy on board, and it sounds just like Ted. I know he's just messing with me. There ain't no way we got it. We got a stowaway. Our ops guys are for the slick. Our ops guys are far too slick. Uh, too slick. Uh, now that the war is over, I bet they'll edit this bit out. But it shows what a place can do to a guy. I gotta go for now, honey. There's some commotion outside. That usually means I'm about to be real busy for a while. I'll write you again soon, Robert. This must have been next? right before the drunks. Maybe that's what he went to. He said there's commotion outside. Or maybe it's just before every all the shit went down. This could be Timmy running around, guys. But we saw him in the in the pro, in the prologue, maybe or what do you call it? The the intro. We saw the little kid. Took a couple shots at him and died.
You think Conrad's made it? He can be pretty resourceful when he puts his mind to it. That's not really an answer. Well, then, sure. I think Conrad's made it. Oh, great. Oh, great. You hear that? Yeah. Where's Fliss? Something moving around down there. What? Big boat, big engine. Did I miss something? Why? Is, did Fliss just run ahead? It's Fliss is speed running this. Meanwhile, I'm taking my time. Oh, there she is. <laughs> it's like she's about to offer me a quest. Ah, she's off. I can take your time, Fliss. June 19th, I identified problem areas with structural brightness and cracks in some sections. Okay, fuck it. Brittleness and cracks in some sections of cargo hold one. I instructed our shipwright to carry out the necessary welding repairs. I advised the captain to go easy, especially in bad weather. Any aggressive movement could cause a ship to break its back. Wow, okay, that doesn't sound good. I responded to a complaint that some electronic equipment has been malfunctioning recently. I discovered growths of tin whiskers around some of the components. I cleaned and added lead to the solders, which has stopped the equipment shorting. Out and uh, shorting out and should slow down the growth. I sound like I'm having a stroke. Here we go. June 21th, next day. I conducted a thorough weekly engine uh, room inspection of fuel, oil, and fluid, which showed lower levels of cylinder oil than expected. I have reminded staff in the engine room to be attentive and vigilant within their hourly, their hourly bed to learn an engineer if there's any loss of pressure. Next day, June 22nd. That's uh, when we started, June 22nd. The intro was playing in June 22nd. <clears throat> Did I say June 21st? Sorry. The ship was caught in a heavy electrical storm which began shortly after midnight. The lightning strikes caused a lot of electrical ar arcing, uh, traveling through or hoisting cables aloft, <laughs> Dick, which has left damage. The grease has boiled up and destroyed some of the cabling. I've received reports that the main problems caused by the storm are with electrical equipment at the moment. It's likely the tin whiskers haven't helped matters. Despite the rough sea, there have been no reports of any structural damage. However, I'll have to... Uh, Okay. I'm having a bit of a stroke. There's something about having text really short. I I suck at reading it. There, I couldn't go to another. I couldn't change page. There was just two pages. Unless unless I could. I don't know. Nah. I don't think that. I don't think I could. I try. I tried uh, going further, and it didn't let me. When there's like short paragraphs, like I'm, I'm I suck at reading. Like I, I have strokes reading it. Met multiple strokes. Hmm. There's gonna be good shit in here for sure. What's this? Tiny dinosaur head. Probably a mouse head, actually. Yeah, that makes more sense. A little bit of a rat. Rat head. It's a tiny rat! Another book. Let's read some more. <laughs> you know, that'll be fantastic. Here we go. Let's have another stroke. Thursday, twelve. The skipper has KO'd 
<laughs> the skipper has KO'd the booze for this whole goddamn trip. There's nothing like being sober to make you realize just how quiet this ship is. There was a flight, fight between those dumb schmucks, Wilson and Anderson, right after we sailed. But Ferris nipped that in the bud real quick, and it's been quiet as a church ever since. I got talking with a... With a feller who had helped lo load up the boat. He told me they put a bunch of coffins on board, which isn't so weird, maybe. But be, be, maybe. Be, he said. Maybe. Be, he said, there was some guy who made sure the coffins were all put in one of the holes just right. Real precise. Not the treatment you get if you were any old grunt. You got me thinking, who could it be in those boxes? No, it says B. What are you talking about, butt? Does it say butt here? It says B here. Which isn't so weird, maybe. B, he said. What are you, what are you saying? What, what is wrong with you? Look at this. It says B. Does it say butt here? Oh, well. Um, it says B, right? Am I going crazy? Yeah, it says B. Fucking asshole, Alex. Uh, who could it be in those boxes? Booze was a bum loss, Perez said. He felt drunk after four cups. But I said he was talking baloney. <laughs> it was like ditch water. Perez said they made some hooch from those supplies they lifted. <laughs> Meeting up later down on 6 to check it out. Uh, so Saturday 14th. Just heard one of the guys here snuck a look at those boxes. Gonna go find him and see what he saw. Maybe he can even help me get in to take a look. It is, it's all set. He reckons he can sneak me in. We're gonna take a look tonight. Another jump scare happens. Yeah, I got. I gotta pull it together. Yeah. This was Friday the thirteenth. Yeah, but then there was a Saturday the fourteenth. Hell yeah! Time for a picture. Yeah, I'd love a slap. Okay, let's analyze this. Okay, so, uh, Captain is slamming... Alex. Captain is slamming Alex into a mirror, I'd say. Captain is slamming Alex. No, Twitch will ban me. They, they don't like jokes like that either. I'll have to... She's just... Ah, tickles! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, maybe it's a window, and then... Oh, Conrad! Conrad's in the back. Conrad and... Uh, and uh, Julie uh, are watching. Cool. With, uh, with these kind of angles, you have to be really weird when walking around to make sure you don't miss anything. I'm real sorry about it. It must be really frustrating to watch. But, like, half the time you miss something because you don't thoroughly go through it all. <clears throat> so there's nothing there. gonna break. We're gonna have to catch someone. I'm ready for the quick time event. Oh, maybe not here. Actually, this looks pretty stable. I think I see something moving down there. He just whips the flashlight towards him. You can still fucking see the light. Sorry. Quiet. Sorry. He catches the light. Did you see that? In the air. She likey. Look. It's the distributor cap from the Duke. You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. 
Hudson! Grabs a sledgehammer. I'm gonna go get it. Beast. Alright, grab it then. We need to be careful. Um We need to be careful. We need to be careful. This could be our only chance. Okay. Keep an eye out. Traits updated. I don't get it. Does she not dislike Alex more because he said we need to be careful? If so, um, that's a little weird. Holy crap. Oh, fuck. Here we go. Okay, I have to be on it here, guys, or I might get sledged. We are gonna... warn Fliss. He... what the fuck? Someone's coming. Okay. That's not too bad. Ah, it's someone barefoot. Who was that? Is he barefoot? He's barefoot. Come here. She runs? What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Where are the others? Did I miss something? Stop screaming, I'm trying to hear what's going on. Shut up, I want to know where the others are. We're gonna follow them. Oh, sorry. It's a mess. I... What are we doing? I thought we were following them. Gotta keep our distance. This way we can get ahead of them. I got this. Weird shit. What's up? I don't know. Uh, Fliss jumped off to go get the the compre the thing, and then instead of sneaking, she's just like, and she just <laughs> goes for it. Like, and the guy's right there. But she got warned. Oh, I'm in. Well, grab this. And then like. And then like, not all, and, and then she gets grabbed, and then they're like, the other two are like, okay, let's follow them, uh, you know, like, like, let's sneak after them. And then there's this weird transition, and all, all of a sudden, uh, there's somewhere else, and he's like, what are you doing? We were gonna follow them. And then like, it just cut. And I think if you're playing co-op, you'd understand what happened there, but for solo, you don't. Which is disappointing, because I really disliked playing co-op when we did it, but... Yeah. It's just a bit awkward. There are these awkward moments where I feel like they're cutting shit out because, um, because it's not co-op. Huh? Um. No, I'm I'm good. I could take like, I could take like two chicken nuggets. So that's something that it's, um, I'm a little disappointed in so far. People who are saying that the writing's off and stuff, that I don't agree with. I think transitions are bad and they cut stuff because of co-op, but I think the general writing is, um, where they're saying it's much worse than Until Dawn, and I think it's the same as Until Dawn, to be honest. I think it's on the same level. Yeah, the pacing, and I think that's because they've saved it for co-op, but I feel like it's taking away from the solo playthrough because of it. All right, let's play. So now it's just us two. I'm wondering if... I'm wondering if... This is gonna happen now. When we're maybe outside. You want me to wait for you? Okay. Uh, Jader, thanks for subbing, dude. 
Hope you're enjoying yourself. Big Blob, 10 bucks. Loving your streams, mate. Keep them up. Thank you, man. That means a lot. Shikinami with a half year. Cheers, my dude. Dilly Dale Doback with the Daily Dilly. Thanks for the $5. Hello, pal. Hope you're well. Take care and have a good rest of the stream. Your friend Dilly. Thank you, man. Lovely stuff. Thanks, my love. Just gonna read a eat a couple of these. Um, while we wait for Alex to get in and, and watch. She's she's watching the stream from her room. So um, she doesn't want to miss too much. Hell yeah, alright. Thank you, Dilly Del Doback. Thank you, Big Blob. Thank you guys. Uh, body bags with 26 months. What creepy moment did I just walk into? Tio reading a little erotic. 31 minutes ago. <laughs> what the hell was I reading then? Thanks for the 26 months, man. Dragon Clout with a half year. Hello, Tio. I love your videos. Keep up the good work. Thank you, man. Thanks for the half year. Jeed with the two gifted subs. Welcome, guys. Thank you, Jeed. Grandmaster Drunk. Clutch. Aiden the Dude. Thank you guys for subbing and welcome. Uh, Cobes as well. Blitz Connect. Thank you guys for subbing. Aiden the Dude. Exodus Cryptic. Thank you for the gifted sub to Adlinazulkernine. Thank you, Exodus. Uh, Baby Nate with the two months. Welcome back. And Yunus Viklin with the ten months. Hell yeah. Said X Rick. Five gifted subs. Thank you very much, man. Thank you for the five sub, Rick. That's uh, hype as always. How many have you given now? Five? I feel like you've given gifts before. Okay. An Energizer Buddy. Thank you for the 17 months. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Haven't you given a lot of subs in the past, Rick? I feel like you've given subs plenty of times. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, just one more chicken nugget. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Cardinal Carn Canardlegui. Thank you for subbing. Welcome. And Larsh Alt. How you doing, man? Welcome to the party. Thanks for subbing. Thank you guys very much. With these kind of games, especially because I know they're shorter, like people have been saying this is five hours long. I don't mind taking breaks every now and then and just talking a little bit about them and taking my time to enjoy them, you know? We could discuss some things. Rather than just playing through it really quickly. God. I think you need to take the time to enjoy what you're playing and, like, talk about it. Oh, good God. Why do I need to see this now? To all crew, Area 7C has been converted to a temporary chapel of rest for the duration of the voyage. All crew are required to be silent and respectful when passing near to Section 7C. Captain Moore Chaplain. Uh, this is a place I'm gonna miss something. I have to really go through everything here. I think I'm good. Oh, was it a corporal? Sorry. <clears throat> Read wrong. I've looked in here. Hold on, Julie. Nope. Okay. Oh, 
I'm gonna take a right. Fuck you. All right. <laughs> Couldn't go far. We're good. Wait a minute. We've been here before. Uh, I don't think so. Oh, I swear we've been here before, Alex. No. Have you been leading us in circles? No. The hell are you on about? Another rat jump scare. Soup du jour, mademoiselle? As if you know your way around a kitchen. Please, relax. Just <sighs> messing around. Jesus! God! Alex? What is it? Come look. Ugh. See for yourself. Ugh. How many rats have jump scared us now? Beef hey. casserole. According to this, today is beef casserole. Mm, yummy. It's as if everything just ground to a halt on this one day. The whole ship just stopped functioning. Hold on, there's more to explore. Hey, easy with that. We shouldn't be screwing around right now. I guess you never know. We might have to use it. Well, yeah. Alex, you don't want to end up hurting the wrong person with that. You should just put it down. It's too late to be careful. We've got three pirates who have taken us hostage. I'll be careful. Let's have another look at this. Lovely. Where the fuck did he put that? Same place he put the ring in his underwear. Made a joke about it earlier. Look at the photo. Go through here. Was it, wait, did I miss a photo? Or are you saying look at the photo I have? I don't want to miss any photos, man. No, I don't think I missed a photo. There's no photo here. I, I, you meant my photo? Oh, here's a photo. Let's check this photo out. I, I, I know my photo. We're outside. I think that's only if I didn't decompress, to be honest. Oh. Well, that's not good. I picked up the knife. I probably should have left the knife. Do you think it's me knifing him? Don't answer that if you know it, obviously. <clears throat> I can't tell. Does not look like me, but you know. I don't think that's me. It's definitely the knife, though. I don't know how that's going to help me, Rooney. So if some- if a soldier or something asks me for a, the knife, I say no. Wait. This isn't right. 
What? What? There's something in here with us. Did, didn't you? I mean, did you hear anything? What are these jump scares, dude? I know I saw something. It was moving in the shadows. Say nothing. Because I, it happened, realistically, the same thing happened to me. I saw something, you know? I get it. Yeah, see, this is why you explore. There's more shit here. June 18th, Wednesday. We haven't been at sea long, and I'm sick of the damn food already. That muck we ate tonight was a joke. The cooks do their best with what we got, I'm sure. But man, I'd kill for something fresh. First thing I'm doing when we get home is having me a tall glass of cold milk. In come the references. Um, every one of the US papers was talking about that massacre in Philly. It's crazy to think how we're out here traveling the world trying to keep our country safe and there's people killing each other in the streets back home. I sure could use a beer after reading about home, but the captain has issued a ban on booze. Guess I'll be sleeping sheep. Oh, guess I'll be counting sheep tonight. Is that it? Friday, June 12, 20th. Some of the guys had a little wrestling competition in one of the cargo holds today. I did okay, but Wagner eventually knocked me out of it. I joked he should be disqualified on account of his size, but no dice. It takes a whole crowd of people to bring him down. He certainly ain't eating the same as the rest of us, that's for sure. June 21st, Saturday. I'm sure the cargo we have in the hold has something to do with the squad that went missing. Their leader, Jones, heard a legend about a room of, full of ancient, solid gold statues from a Manchurian child emperor. They were said to be cursed, but that sounds like a load of baloney. I don't know if they found them, but maybe they never did return from their mission. Maybe they're returning now. That goes back. Can I, is there no... It always ends on June 21st, Saturday. Was that supposed to sound American? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah? How'd it go? What do you think? Rate me, 1 to 10. As a Texan, it is nice to finally hear my language. Hell yeah, Jamiani. I mean, I've always been good with, with the accents, gotta be honest. I think that's it for this area. Let's keep going. You want to see me voice act in a game? All right, we've been here before. I'm sure of it. We're going around in circles. Well, what do you want to do? Turn around? We've seen all this before. I'm not so sure, Julie. Okay, no. This isn't working for me. What? Gross caskets and crappy chapels. Not my scene, you know? It is crappy. You're right. It's gross and it's crappy. Gotta get out of here too sweet. Okay, so can we just get the fuck out too then? Too sweet? <laughs> the fuck? We gotta get out of here. Too sweet. What, what happens if I click on these? The catering schedule found in the kitchen. Days have been marked off and then so stop suddenly. Something interrupted the ship's voyage. I should be reading these. A note requesting that someone cover another crew member's shift. It seems he wanted to get out of dark guard duty. A lot of this is pretty obvious. Letter from someone on the ship. Blah, 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 blah. Flight plan of the blah, 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 blah. The plane's launched from a US airbase. A lifeboat is missing from the B-29. It had been launched during the plane's mission. Shell. Yeah, there's some good stuff here. Discarded newspaper from the United States. Dated 1947. The ship must have been abandoned sometime that year. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was really far after World War II. Okay. 
Ari mostly describing life on the ship, but also mentions the room that Sergeant Jones found an ancient artifact during the war. All right, cool. What is this? Is this A3? Heck yeah. We should get out of here, honey. But let's, uh, let's explore. Hey, we got a name on this guy. Who cares where they're from or where they're going? They're dead and we're not, so let's keep it that way. <clears throat> oh, what? We're opening it? This isn't a good idea. Is this even human? Look at this. It's insane. Is it even human? I mean, was it ever human? What is the deal with this place? Okay, leave. Yeah, now. we should go. Leave, leave, leave! Um, where do we check out another one? Look at this one. Like for a kid or something. I don't want to know. Let's get out of here. Can I do something more? Oh fuck, I passed something as well. Will you please hurry? Please? I could do something here. Oh no, sorry. Ugh, that's the other one. Alright, final one, then we'll go. Got some serious locks in these caskets. Why would they be chained and locked? Let's get going, babe. What's the matter? Shh. There's something shining here. If I click it. Alright, jump scare in three, two, one. <gasps> Let me just check this corner, corner, babe, and then we'll uh, we'll go. Corner's clear. Let's go. Oh, can I pick this up? No. Can we please hurry? I'm done sightseeing. Roger that. God, you're being a bit of a pussy, Julie. Julia? Julie. What the hell is making that sound? Probably a bunch of rats. Julia. What sound? Oh. Oh. Why so spick and span? Check right first. Fuck the bodies. Ooh. Alright, we'll check left. This is no time to be fucking around. I'm serious. I can't take it. Ah, I went from a skeleton to a body. We're gonna poke him? Why? Oh, what the fuck? Don't touch it! Why did you touch it? Any medicine we find in here is gonna... Way out of date. And yet... 2019. Huh? Aspirin. I got a lot of problems, but a headache ain't one. Well, that better not be available <laughs> first to me, Oh, I can touch him again. What? Oh, okay. Oh, what's this? Oh, was that him? I think that's him. Yeah. Hold on, babe. I gotta walk into shit to make sure there's nothing there. Ooh. Wow, this is kind of. Oh, we saw this. 
in the intro, we saw his perspective. He's held down, and then when he, he woke up, he was like, they're like, ah, give him some more. And they gave him some more. They pumped him full of something even more. That's the guy on the table there. Okay, so this guy had appendicitis, which is pretty routine, and then, then he died of a massive heart attack, which is not routine at all. Hashtag nope. Nope. Who says hashtag? Does anyone here say hashtag in real life? <laughs> hashtag nope. What the hell? Looks like he died of fright. You can't see that. All right, I guess we're doing this. <laughs> 